Grief Talk with Von Solis, The Clips. That survival thing. So even making choices in the early days, weeks, months, years, where you're committed and saying, I'm going to do more than survive this, there is still the balancing that has to take place with the humanness of the experience. But it is the will and the intent to overcome as much of of that as possible to get to a point where it becomes beautifully integrated as this happened and I am now okay that this happened. I didn't like it and I don't like it, but I accept it. And one day we'll be together again, for those of us that, that think that with our lost uh, loved one and our lost child. But even if we're not, that we're okay with the experience. If health practitioners, the education system, employers, and culture in general made it permissible for us to be in this bereavement and be open about it, and people weren't so scared about losing children and so on, I think it would help us heal a lot faster because we carry so much inside because of the rules of culture. Do you agree with that, Susan? I do. Um, I can feel it. Like when I mention my son's passing, like automatically I can see the other person freeze up. Like, what do I say? Oh my goodness, so sorry. So in our culture in the U.S., what I've experienced um, so far is, yeah, people don't know how to react. They don't know what to say to bereaved parents. 